I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. I want to teach you my greatest low FODMAP tips. First of all, did you know that the green part of the scallion is low in FODMAPs? Well, once you use up all the green part, you can take the bulb, put it in a glass with a little bit of water, and over a few days, new green shoots will start to form. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. Here are some of my great low FODMAP tips. As you probably know, garlic is high in FODMAPs. But guess what? If you take your head of garlic, plant it in a little bit of soil, over a few weeks, green shoots will start to form. These garlic shoots or scapes are lower in FODMAPs and taste similar to garlic. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. You might be a little nervous about starting the second phase or the reintroduction phase of the low FODMAP diet but I wanna encourage you with the following five reasons. One, it will increase your nutritional balance to have more variety in your diet of foods. Two, it will enhance your intestinal microbiome, which is the bacteria that are naturally found in your gut and helps support your mood and immune system. Three, it will increase your personal freedom to have more options when you're eating out. Four, you will have less restrictions to your diet and that will improve your options at home. And five, it will encourage joy from food. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. The low FODMAP diet is not a gluten-free diet. Gluten is a protein and FODMAPs are carbohydrates. The low FODMAP diet does restrict wheat and barley, so gluten-free products such as bread are often consumed. However, you can enjoy small serving sizes of pretzels or sourdough that has been fermented overnight because it reduces the fructans in the wheat. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls, and here's my low FODMAP tips on using the FODMAP food app. If you haven't already, I highly suggest that you download for your phone either the Monash Food App or the FODMAP Friendly Food App or both. Let me show you how they work. The Monash Food App has a full list of foods and you just need to click on the food you're interested in to determine a low FODMAP portion size. The FODMAP Friendly Food App also has a food list in which you can navigate different foods such as fruits and vegetables and click on the picture to see a low FODMAP portion size as well as a maximum FODMAP serving. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. You may be confused about corn on the low FODMAP diet. Well, let me explain. The majority of the corn in our country is field corn or dent corn and is used for animal feed, but is also made into products like cornmeal and corn flour and can be consumed on the low FODMAP diet. Popcorn is a different kind of corn known as flint corn and is also low in FODMAPs. However, sweet corn on the cob is higher in FODMAPs and therefore you should limit your serving size to about 38 grams or a half a cob. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls, and here are some of my label reading tips. Did you know that when you read a label, the ingredients that you read first have the highest proportion in that product, while the ones lower on the list have the least? So if something is at the lower part of the list and is a high FODMAP ingredient, you still may be able to tolerate that product. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls, and here are some of my great low FODMAP tips. You may find you can't tolerate onion or garlic, but guess what? The FODMAPs aren't absorbed in an oil, so you can use garlic infused oil, onion or mushroom infused oils instead. Great ways to swap out recipes and still enjoy your cooking. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. You may be wondering about soy on the low FODMAP diet. Well, whole mature soybeans are high in FODMAPs 
You can enjoy edamame, which is the immature soybeans, extra firm or firm tofu, which has been soaked and the FODMAPs leach out in the liquid, or soy sauce, which is a fermented type of soy. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. If you're confused about whether you can have bananas on the low FODMAP diet, let me explain. Bananas change in their sugars as they ripen. A green banana is mostly resistant starch, and therefore you can enjoy a whole medium banana as one serving. However, as the banana ripens and turns more yellow, the sugars convert to the FODMAP fructan. Keep yourself to a third of a ripe banana. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Pauls. You may be wondering if you can have alcohol on the low FODMAP diet. Well, while alcohol can be an IBS trigger for some, from a FODMAP standpoint, you are able to enjoy vodka, whiskey, gin, red and white wine. Stay away from rum and tequila. Cheers.